history repeats itself. And this is what the book said. History repeats itself in 80-year blocks called saculum, but we'll just call them history blocks. Not exactly 80 years. This is history, not math, but roughly the span of a human lifetime, maybe 80 to 90 years. Within these 80-year history blocks, we have four turnings of around 20 years each. We usually call them generations. This book calls them turnings. Turnings are sort of like seasons, like spring, summer, fall, winter. Throughout our history, we've had these 80-year blocks, and the 80-year blocks have been remarkably similar to each other. We're in one now. The first turning, the first season, is a high, an upbeat era. The second turning is an awakening, a passionate era. The third turning is an unraveling, a downcast era. And the fourth turning, well, sorry, but fourth turnings suck. The fourth turning is a crisis, an era of upheaval. We're in a fourth turning right now. So let's take a look at our seculum, our history block, the history block that we're in the crisis of right now. Our high began after our World War II victory. By our, we mean America's. These are America's history blocks and turnings. During a high, the getting is good. We had the most even distribution of wealth during our high. You could work at a gas station and afford to buy a house. This high is the period that the MAGA hats refer to. We got Hank Williams and Elvis and Little Richard and the birth of rock and roll. We launched monkeys and men into space. This is when the Mustangs and Corvettes first came out. Our high ended with the assassination of John F. Kennedy on November 22nd, 1963. The high is not a high for everyone, of course. America still had a segregated South homosexuality was illegal and considered a mental disorder. The high is a period of conformity. The age of nonconformity and of social justice begins during the awakening, our passionate era. During the awakening, we had Martin Luther King and the civil rights movement, ACID, Vietnam protests and Vietnam itself, the women's liberation movement, Stonewall and the gay rights movement, great movies, great music. This is when the first Macintosh computer came out. The awakening is a time of increasing individualism. This second turning, this awakening, ended with the re-election of Ronald Reagan in 1984. Things get messy during the third turning, during the unraveling. We got the fall of Soviet communism and the beginning of the Russian gangster state. The greatest musicians of the time sang about violence and decay in their deteriorating cities. The LA riots, OJ, the bombing of Bosnia and the Columbine high school shootings on the same day. September 11th, the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Our unraveling ended with the financial crisis of 2008. A fascinating fact about this book is that it was written during the last Third Turning, published in 1997. But the book predicts now what's happening now in this fourth turning. And what's happening now is right on schedule. Eighty years ago, in the last fourth turning, America had her Great Depression, then World War II. Eighty years before that, the Civil War. Eighty years before that, the Revolutionary War. Now it's our turn to save the country. So where do you fit into all this? What's your role? It depends when you were born. Each generation, each cohort, tends to embody a specific archetype. An archetype that will move the society towards the next high. Each generation's archetype is the characteristic that will define the generation in its prime, in midlife. The boomer archetype is the prophet. Bill Gates and Steve Jobs are boomers and prophets. Both predicted that one day everyone, not just big corporations and governments, would own a computer. 
Gates even predicted a crisis like COVID-19 five years beforehand. The writers of this book are boomers and prophets. Gen X is the nomad generation. The quintessential Gen Xer, Elon Musk, builds things that move us from one place to another. Rockets, electric cars, hyperloops, nomadic devices. But the millennials, raised during the unraveling, will emerge as the hero generation during this crisis. These are the Parkland High students, the frontline hospital workers, and Malala Yousafzai. The book says millennials will be the World War II heroes of our history block. We don't know what Gen Z will do, but they will be an artist generation. From them will emerge the next Bill Withers, Toni Morrison, or Bob Dylan, all born during the last crisis, all from an artist generation. The history block before ours ended with World War II and began with the Civil War, 80 years prior. The history block before that ended with the Civil War and began with the end of the Revolutionary War, 80 years prior. Every 80 years or so, something big comes along and changes everything. And now we're at the end of our history block, right in the middle of our crisis. We are in the process of changing our world again. The authors of The Fourth Turning tell us that these crises are like forest fires. Unpleasant, but necessary. They clear the woods for new growth. As we work towards our next high, this crisis will tilt the playing field away from the old and towards the young, they tell us. But the victory is not guaranteed. We will, each of us, need to rise to the occasion during this crisis. We will need to develop and fortify our virtues as we pursue a greener pasture. Our Western society was built to foster the potential of each individual within it. The aggregate effort of individuals keeps it going. The spirited man wonders, what is his role? What verse must he contribute to help extinguish the crisis? This spirited man is told that his cohort, Gen X, is the repair generation. The one stuck with fixing the messes and cleaning up the debris left by others. Cleaning, fixing, repair. This particular spirited man, from the last pre-digital generation, the last of the analogs, just happens to have a particular knack for repair and for fixing. Perhaps his nomad generation is tasked with ferrying his society from one saculum, from one history block, to another. But where does he start? Well, the zip line at the community center playground has been broken for over a year. And this particular spirited man happens to have the tools to fix it. <laughs> 